you can invest in art, but art is not an investment. It's a very different field that you're looking at when it comes to art. Of course, the nuances, you know, the factors that are involved in uh, determining or that affect the appreciation of art is uh, it's really quite complex. When one is looking at the values that art commands nowadays, it can't just simply be a subjective decision. One has to look at other um, empirical <laughs> information when it comes to uh, appreciating art. Selling it is part of the process. But you create art because you want to create art. Yun lang yun. Like, meron lang tayo in place na market for art. The returns that one derives from acquiring art and at some stage unloading art, I think, outpaces a lot of more traditional forms of investment as well as less traditional ones such as property or jewelry. It's a, it's a different feeling when you treat something like art as a commodity that you can collect and, and only look at the monetary value that comes out when you, when you buy it and sell it. By and large, they would have, I would say, for the very important works, a 10% increase in the value of the works. And that was standard. This is for insurance purposes. Um, Salcedo was able to offer, for example, works by young artists by the name of Ronald Ventura. For example, in the early 2000s, his artworks were, were selling below the 100,000 peso mark. And in the span of, um, well, a little over 10 years, those uh, artworks are selling in the 5, 6, 7, over 10 million range for certain sizes. Certainly, the case of the pagoda is an exceptional one. Uh, you know, a lot of people in the art market knew um, what the acquisition cost of that piece was five or so years ago and what it sold for at Salcedo last March. So you don't get those kinds of returns uh, at, uh, for uh, other investment um, vehicles uh, in, that, in that range or scale. Before you can even successfully invest in art, I think you have to love art. Eh? I think that comes first. Mm -hmm.